really don't care much about whether I'm perceived as being difficult or not. You repeat, I am not responsible. That someone else is to blame. But you are responsible. And so, you are evil. Looking at what informs my work, it's, it's anger, leavened by humor, twisted by compassion. I, my life has been a constant battle against what I was taught I should be. And part of my rancorousness, if that's a word, or my, you know, brusqueness, is based in that constant battle against uh, baggage. So that's been a hindrance. I am not the stuff of fatherhood. An ex stripper. I mean, in my work, anyways. Um, I can't separate self from art. I don't know if I'd want to talk to anyone who could. <laughs> I don't think I'd understand them. I mean, be serious. What would I have to offer a child? I'm the poster boy for the anti-father. And I've always sort of loved that about myself. My bubble of blackness had such rage and anger, self-hatred, hate. It, it had so many negatives attached to it that I had to burst out of it. I had to like, I, in order to survive it, I had to humanize it. I wonder where that thought came from, but then I remember Birth of a Nation. When I was because I spent so much time exploring my own dysfunction, uh, I'm really interested in general dysfunction. So what I largely do is ex explore black male dysfunction in my work, right? Uh, and that being a part of a greater human dysfunction. It's just like, like a window on an aspect of human dysfunction that I know and that I have fun with and that I love. Now everybody thinks black men are super dark. Media expose, super freaks, can't keep it between their legs and go on springing to get some play canine because our bark is loud. Well, I got news for you, little brother. A dog is a dog is a dog. <laughs> uh, I've done a few things, I suppose, uh, from selling shoes to running drugs and cars to being a stripper to being an actor to being a professional ballet dancer. I guess the latest one would be a full-on dad. I've been thinking about what I have to offer Simone. I haven't led a model life, but then it's not a model world. I've seen and done ugly things and managed to survive. Maybe that's what I have to give Simone. A survivor's determination, a burning rage at life's injustice, and an ironic sense of its innate idiocy not to mention my own. There are worse things a parent can give their child. The perfect visualization for me of my drive is that French poster of the sheep running off the cliff and there's that one sheep going, excusez-moi, excusez-moi, glam. And I transpose, excusez-moi, excuse me, excusez-moi, with this cliff you don't. <laughs> And, and that's my drive, right? There's a cliff, you know, stop running.